Las Vegas, Nevada, the 1950s. A hedonistic oasis in the middle of the Mojave Desert. In the aftermath of the Second World War, this is a chance to escape the straitjacket of middle America and let your hair down. Las Vegas, Nevada, the city of daytime sun and nighttime fun. And the people behind the whole show, the Mafia. Las Vegas is the original gangster's paradise. It was really unique to Las Vegas. They made the town, and they made it a prosperous town. The Mafia makes millions of dollars in legitimate gambling profits. But they have far more at stake. An illegal financial operation called the skim. The commodity is green, cash. There's theft from the outside, there's theft from the inside, and they're skimming. The skim is money siphoned off from the casino's counting rooms before it can be taxed. The amount runs into the millions. Mafia families from across the nation each receive a share in the skim based on the percentage of ownership it holds in a casino. There's no record of the money, so it's extremely valuable to the mob. It's money that they can spend 100% of and have to uh, account to no one for. Ed, good evening, Las Vegas. Welcome Radio DJ True Hawkins grew up in Las Vegas. During the 1950s, his father was a cashier at the mafia-run Riviera Casino. But he didn't just count the money, he helped the mob run the skim. One of his jobs became to put $100 bills in a lockbox drawer and set it on the back counter and it disappeared and an empty one showed up. That was every day, five days a week while he was at work. And it was just understood that that box didn't exist, never happened, nobody talked about it. The Mafia holds a monopoly over the gambling and hotel industry, the biggest employer in town. Going to work then means going to work for the mob, even though it was illegal. For employees like True Hawkins' father, counting the skim was just part of everyday life. In my father's eyes, he was just doing his job. What I got to do? That's what they told me. Here's your paycheck. You did it. You knew what was going on. However, the approach of all of those mob-connected guys, they were perfect gentlemen to everybody at work. The Mafia keeps violent crime out of Las Vegas. They have too much at stake. The gambling profits and the skim are worth millions, and they don't want to attract heat from the authorities or scare the tourists away. 